on this now, okay? So we're gonna take the left hand, all right? Like you're shaking someone's hand, you're gonna put it right down um, on the grip of your club, okay? Right hand is the same way, all right? So I'm shaking hands like this, straight with the club, all right? With the driver, okay, you want the club in, in your fingers, all right? You don't wanna palm it, okay? So don't, don't strangle the club, all right? You wanna rest it in your fingers, all right? And that's both hands. So left hand shake, right hand shake. Again, I use interlock. Um, I'm not sure if, if all of you use interlock, I would suggest it. If you don't, let's just work on a, a comfortable a comfortable grip, all right? But what we want is, essentially you're gonna want this V, you see how this right here forms a V? Okay, you're gonna want that V. So this is my left hand, I wanna want this V to go to my right shoulder. Okay, so it's the opposite hand V to the opposite shoulder. So left V, you see how the tip of that V is pointing to my right shoulder? shake hands with here i get this v right here on this hand my right hand to point at my left shoulder okay so that's how we're going to try to grip to grip the club okay we don't want our hands way down here we don't want this other hand down here or anything like that all right so left hand v to the right shoulder right hand v to the left shoulder okay from here you're going to want the ball all right <clears throat> and the inside part of your heel okay to about where you know it's either if I were to take an alignment stick <laughs> and stick it down all right so you know get that alignment stick an inch you know an inch or even on the inside of the ball okay this is something that we might have to adjust based on based on the ball flight and everything okay so I'll help you out with that but you're gonna want the ball in the front of your stance all right I'm gonna move this just for swing purposes ball in the front of your stance okay you're gonna want your weight back a little bit and not like the bunker shot okay on this one we're gonna want our weight back a little bit because when we come through our hips are gonna stay through we're gonna shoot our hips and we're gonna launch the ball in the air okay the new thing right now in the golf world is the higher you hit it apparently the farther it goes okay so right now I'm gonna try to get it get the ball in the air all right and just let you hit it all right but again the grip wise okay stance is, is you know feet shoulder width apart flex slightly bend in your knees all right and then when you take it back what i'm going to really have you work on right now is i got a couple of drills too is we're going to work and focus on taking the club along the ground as long as possible okay the swing the golf swing is exactly what it says okay it, it is a swing all right so we're gonna want a swinging motion, a big arc swinging motion, not a steep angle of attack or like we're chopping wood, okay? And like I said, you know, a couple days ago in the bunker, this is completely opposite of what I told you in the bunker, okay? So with the driver and with our irons, we're gonna want a big arc, a big swing, okay? The more arc you can get on it, the faster club head speed we can get, the farther the ball will go, all right? So with that, <clears throat> make sure the weight your weight's good a little bit back and then it's just nice and easy straight back when you get it here all right try not to break there get the L all right get the L going at the top take it back this club should be parallel all right or just above parallel unless you're John Daly it shouldn't be past parallel okay so if you can see the club out of your left eye all right you're taking it back too far all right, there's a first starter for you. Your timing is going to be off. Most likely the ball is going to go, you know, you're going to cut the ball. It's going to go out to the right. All right, so if you need to for the first couple, make it make make yourself feel like you're actually taking a three-quarter swing instead of an actual full swing, okay? That normally helps, helps with the accuracy a little bit, okay? It, it, it'll let you hit the fairway a little bit. So we take the club head back. We make the L, set the club at parallel. And when we come down, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna drop our right elbow right into our side hip. All right, I have a drill for this too that's really gonna make sure that your arm doesn't flail out, okay? If your arms come back here and your arm is out like a softball or a baseball swing, okay, again, you're gonna hit the slice and it's gonna be really far over there. So we want, as soon as you set this club at the top, 
you're gonna wanna drive this elbow down into your hip, all right? If we can get it in the slot, I'm gonna call that, you know, getting, getting the elbow in the slot, all right? If we can get it in the slot, then all we gotta do from here is just explode our hips, all right? It's kinda easier said than done, but if you can work on taking the club along the ground as long as possible, setting it with the L, setting it at the top, finding the slot, and then exploding through, all right? You should be able to hit, you know, a pretty good golf shot, all right? It might not go as far as you like, but as of right now, what I'm trying to get us to do is I'm trying to, I'm trying to get us a little bit more accurate, okay? So you're not afraid to take out a driver, okay? You might lose a couple distance yardage-wise, but if you're in the fairway every single time, you know, it's, you can't really go wrong with that, all right? Your, your scores are gonna automatically improve if you're not taking penalty shots off the tee. Okay, so a little bit of fast motion. Again, ball front, front part of my foot, left hand uh, B to my right shoulder, right hand B to my left shoulder. My weight's back a little bit, okay? Good posture. If you notice, my back, all right, is fairly straight. I'm not hunched over, but again, I'm not standing straight up, all right? You're gonna want a good, uh, a good back posture, and then it's just straight back to straight forward. Okay, so when I get the club here, I didn't even, I mean, for demonstration purposes, you know, and for practice, if we can get the club here, okay, if you want to stop it here, do it. That's fine with me, okay? You see how my elbow is tucked into my side, though? And then just from here, I can find the slot quick, and I'm able to shoot my hips, okay, and release my hands and all the tension out into the golf ball. So just one more time real quick. Make sure when you follow through, during the follow through, come through, okay, you're gonna want to focus on pointing your belly, your belly button, where you want the ball to go, okay? A lot of golfers, when they get here, they just kind of stop, all right, and their belly button's, you know, towards here, they're not shooting their, their hips all the way through, they're not firing their glutes as much as they need to, okay? So, if we can get it here, with the L at parallel, find the slot, once you find, find the slot, shoot the hips and send your belly button through towards the target, okay?